Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. I am the Caveman, and this is Deadpool. No, this is Micah Bear. It was a Halloween costume. Happy Halloween, everybody. I thousand of you YouTubers subscribe to his channel yeah. and my channel. Yeah. Micah is very excited for Halloween. It is now October, so we're very excited for Halloween. However, we are here to review our Disney castle. We finished building it last week, so we are here to do a review of our Disney castle. Um, as you can see, it is huge. Um, I am six foot tall. When I sit down, I'm still pretty tall, um, and it is taller than me. I'm about here on it, sitting down, um, and now it is on the table, and obviously. And I'm about here. Yep. So, here is the front side with all of the figures. I'm going to turn it around so you can see the back side here. There we are. Now, the cool thing about this is this piece here is all together. And if you do it right, it comes off pretty easily. I am, uh, however, destroying it as I'm pulling it off. So, let me see if I can't fix that. not sure where that goes. Hang on to that for just a second. And then you also have the play area here. So um, this is the nod to Brave, and we will talk about all those different things. Let me turn it back around here so we can talk about the first one. The first one here is right here on the side, and it is the nod to the princess and the frog. And then like I said up here, we've got the nod to Brave. Then we have the, the clock in here that we believe is a nod to uh, Cinderella. Um, we never did find out about the vase. However, this um, candelabra up here is a nod to Steamboat Willie, the first Mickey Mouse cartoon. Um, and then in the big castle over here, can I see this piece? Uh oh. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happened. Uh, in this castle over here, we have um, Beauty and the Beast. We have Little Mermaid and Cinderella again. We've got Fantasia and Magic Mickey. We've got the Cinderella uh, bedroom. We've got Sleeping Beauty's spindle over here. Uh, we've got Snow White up here with the mirror and the um, apple. And then in here, this piece slides out. And in here is a Cinderella display case with the glass slipper inside and a magic book that goes inside of there. And that is all of the pieces of the castle itself. Let's take a look. Oh, here's one of our favorite things. Is everyone ready? Mike, are you ready? We're going to shoot off a firework, okay? Happy Halloween! So those... That does have a firework launcher in it that fires off those uh, studs with gems on it for the fireworks, which is a lot of fun. There's also, and I forgot this one, I can't believe I forgot it, in here is a nod to Tangled with the hairbrush and the hair and the scissors. Um, I think I've got everything now. There's so much, they pack so much into this castle. This piece sits back up on top of these studs here pretty easily. I oh, knocked over one of our guards. Um, and it comes on and off pretty easily, except for when you grab it and you pull it apart, uh, like I did. And so that is the castle itself with all of its mini... Um, oh, we forgot one cookie thing. Over here, in the bottom part of the castle, I can't believe I forgot this, is a nod to Aladdin. There's the magic carpet and the... Um, lamp and it's really hard to see it's down in here uh hopefully you can see that on the video let's take a look at our mini figures that we got what's up I wanna try something. okay try it okay can i see the wheel yep it moves and the wheel does move yep and there is the little spindle to prick yourself on let's look at some of our mini figures now here we've got Daisy Duck. The camera's really far away so that we can see the whole thing. She's wearing a pink top. She's got a purple bow. She's got her duck tail. Uh, she's got purple shoes. Duck tails. Yep. So there is Daisy Duck. 
Up next we have Donald, and this Donald is the only repeat character in the set. Uh, he can also be found in the Series 1 Disney blind bags. He's in his traditional blue top with a red bow, and then he's got his blue hat. He's also got the duck tail, no shoes, just the yellow feet. So there is Donald. Then we've got Mickey, and Mickey here is dressed up. He's in a Mickey Mouse suit. He's even got uh, some coattails back there that he came with. He's got a bow tie and a little vest and red pants and then his typical big Mickey ears. Then we've got Minnie Mouse here, and Minnie is in a red polka dot outfit with a matching bow. She's got the skirt piece here. She's got the white bloomers and then the, the gold shoes. So there is Minnie Mouse. And then the last Minnie figure is Tinkerbell here. And Tinkerbell's got that green skirt. She also has the wing piece the blonde hair piece and the wand that she came with. And we even got an extra one, didn't we? In the last build video, you were doing magic with her extra wand. Um, and so there is the Tinkerbell minifigure. This set uh, is the only place to get a Tinkerbell minifigure. There is no other set in which to get a Tinkerbell minifigure. Um, there's a lot of other cool details like the doors here on the castle can open and close. Um, uh, candelabra moves things like that. You can, you know, the, the mirror in here kind of moves. You got the uh, firework shooters. So all in all, I'm gonna try to put it back together. A pretty cool castle. I'm going to compare it to the only other big castle set that I have built in uh, the Hogwarts castle set. And I will talk about what I like and don't like about it. Um, one of the things that I really, really liked is that it's built to minifigure scale instead of the micro figure scale like the um, Hogwarts Castle was. Something that I don't like about it is that it was way, way easier to put together. Uh, there's way fewer pieces, so all in all, you don't get as much bang for your buck, even though um, it seems like it should be bigger because it's built to minifigure scale instead of micro figure scale, but that's really my only complaint. I love all the movie pieces that they incorporated into it. I love that it looks like the Disney castle that I have in pictures and that I remember from Disney World. Uh, I like all the minifigures in it. I do wish that Donald uh, had a little bit of a variation to him so he was not the exact same Donald that you get in the Series 1 set, but Beyond that, I think it was a really cool castle. It was a much easier build than the Hogwarts castle was. The Hogwarts castle was a really difficult build. It had a lot of detailing in it that was really, really difficult to do. This was nowhere near the difficulty of the Hogwarts castle. Much, much easier, but you still get a really cool, really beautiful um, set at the end of it. What did you like about the castle, Micah? Mm. Love of that pumpkin. You like the pumpkin. You like the Magic Mickey stuff, right? I do wish that the hat would fit on Mickey, but it doesn't. That would have been cool if the hat fit on Mickey, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't. Um, is there any other things that you liked about the castle? Mm, anything that I like about the castle? Yeah, anything else that you liked about the castle? The spooky nights. The spooky nights. So yes, so even though these aren't minifigures, we did get these two night pieces. They're exactly the same. They've got this blue feather on top. Uh, they have no faces or anything like that. Uh, but they did come with it, which is a lot of fun that we got those two guys as well. Um, it is a little bit sturdier than the Hogwarts Castle. The Hogwarts Castle came apart really easily. I have moved this back and forth hundreds of times and it has never crumbled on me. As a matter of fact, today when I pulled on this and this piece right here came off, that was the first time I've had a piece come off in moving this thing at all. So um, a little bit more sturdier than the Hogwarts Castle. It felt like the Hogwarts Castle, every time I moved it, a piece fell off. Um, it was very um, flimsy, kind of. This is much more sturdy. I think kids could play with it a whole lot more uh, compared to the Hogwarts Castle. The other thing is we have all those minifigures to place in here and I'm super excited to place it because there are so many places I can put minifigures and it just makes it a whole bunch of fun. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What minifigure are you most excited to put in our castle that we don't have yet? That we don't have down here in the castle yet? Besides these guys. Mm, those guys up 
Yeah, which one? All of them. All of them. So all the minifigures. If you never watched our minifigure video that we did all the way at the beginning, please go check it out. We had a lot of fun uh, displaying all the cool minifigures that we are going to incorporate into our castle for display. Thank you for joining us on this amazing building ride of this castle. Um, next week, we're going to have a speed up video. We took uh, almost nine hours of build video and got it down to nine minutes. So uh, it's going to go and the castle will be built. So please come back next week and check that out. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all those amazing things. Mike and I aren't done building yet. We're just done with the Disney castle. We're going to move on to other things. Judah and I are still building some amazing Harry Potter stuff. So please check that out. And until next time, happy, happy Halloween. <laughs> happy building everyone.